overflows. Relationship is a kind of bondage. The moment that is about to come is now ready to dissolve into timelessness. Live this moment to your heart's content and let your entire life be the embodiment of this precise moment and give birth to transformation as quantum li. When you are happy alone, when you can live with yourself, there is no need, there is no intrinsic necessity to be in relationship. That does not mean you cannot relate. But to relate is one thing and to be in relationship is quite another. Relationship is a kind of bondage. Relating is sharing. You will relate with many people. You will share your joy with many people. But you will not depend on anyone in particular and you will not allow anyone else to depend on you. You will not be dependent and you will not allow anyone to be dependent on you. You will live out of freedom, out of joy, out of love. Relationship means something complete, finished, closed, and love is not, is never a relationship. Love is relating. It is an ongoing, continuous process that never comes to an end. It is always a river, flowing, unending. Love knows no full stop. The honeymoon begins but never ends. It is not like a novel that starts at a certain point and ends at a certain point. It is an ongoing phenomenon. Lovers end but love continues. It is a continuum. It is a woe, not a noun. And why do we reduce the beauty of relating to relationship? Why are we in such a hurry? Because to relate is insecure and relationship is security, provides security. Relationship is, has a certainty. Relating is just meeting of two strangers, maybe just an overnight stay or a little longer when it is an overnight stay then in the morning we say goodbye and move on our own individual journey who knows what is going to happen tomorrow and we are afraid that we want to make it's certain, we want to make it predictable, what will we would be like tomorrow to be according to our ideas. We do not allow it freedom to have its own we. Because of this fear of the unknown and unknowable, we do not know what will happen tomorrow. We want certainty. We want relationships. We do not allow it any freedom to have its own we. So we immediately reduce every verb to a nine. Noun. We relate, we reduce relating to relationship. Love respects the other. It is a give and take relationship if it is so. Love enjoys giving 
love enjoys taking it is this give and take is a kind of sharing it is communion and overflowing both are equal in love in a sexual relationship both are not equal love has a totally different beauty to it only thing is but this beauty is unknown and unknowable the world is slowly and slowly moving towards love relationships hence there is a great turmoil all the old institutions are disappearing slowly and slowly indeed they have to disappear because they are based on the love relationship new way of communication new way of sharing are bound to be discovered they will be they will have a different flavor the flavor of love the flavor of sharing whenever any so called relationship prospers flowers allows total freedom growth that is based on the way the two people relate to one another two people care one another what care for one another and share their presence their being everything with one another they are non possessive there will be no owner this is the way love has to evolve and when it evolves that way transformation is bound to happen then the highest state of love becomes prayerfulness you when love attains blossoming it becomes a prayerfulness in prayerfulness there is a communion in sex there is i and we this is a relationship to love i thou relationship in love the out i thou relationship remains martin bauer stops there his judaic tradition won't allow him to go further but one step more has to be taken that is neither i nor thou a relationship where i and thou disappear into one another a relationship where two persons are no longer function as two instead they function as one a tremendous unity a harmony and deep accord two bodies are there but one soul one breath that is the highest quality of love and this state i call prayerfulness love has three stages the compassion according accordingly has three stages both can exist in different combinations as a result there are many kinds of love so many kinds of compassion but the basic the most fundamental is to understand this three step ladder of love three step ladder of love that will help you 
that will give you an insight into where you are, what kind of love you are giving in, and what kind of compassion is happening to you. Watch. Beware not to remain caught up in this. There are higher realms, height to be reached, peaks to be attained. If there is passion in love, then love becomes hell. If there is attachment in love, then love will become a prison. If love is passionless, it will become heaven. If love is without attachment, then love itself is divine. All these possibilities exist in love. It all depends on you, your inner growth, your understanding, your transcendence, your process of blossoming, enough for now.